all right so now let's look at this type of question okay now my well, husband the statement says in the figure o is the center again o is the center of the circle so this is the center of the circle again should be looking out for a center theorem angle at center two times angle at circumference okay but we're going to see how that applies to the question okay stp is equal to 90 degrees as indicated now if r is equals to 50 degrees so we are being given that r is 50 degrees and yeah okay and pqr is equal to 70 p q r so all of this angle okay p q r is all of this angle and they're telling us but that is 70 degrees okay so calculate the size of each of the following angles right now now before we do a question again i want us to start by figure out some of the things while we are doing the question like o is the center meaning this is the center theorem now that means this angle is two times there okay so the first thing is you know tell, let's write that down okay let's write it here and say so the first thing we note is that o is equal is going to be equal to two times r o is going to be equal to two times r so that's the first thing we note from just the statement that o is the center okay another thing we also note okay is that o is going to be so the second thing is that o is going to be two times p s q okay that angle okay because angle at center is two times angle at circumference. This is an angle at circumference. All right. So how how would you know that this was not an angle? Angle is still subtended uh, by the same code. So you can see what okay. Le u p q. A line from p q by o bends o. But you can see those same points p q. They produce ubani us so you can see that both of them must well pq therefore you can apply the theorem so seven hundred so make sure of the sense of the theorem that all line abaka e angle they both come from the same points as you can see even now are 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 so from this point so you can see R work or PQ and O again I work or PQ so you can apply the theorem with angle at center is two times angle at circumference you you cannot you cannot apply it to T why T is not at the circumference that is the problem about T okay so that is what we are also noting before we do the question another thing which is important that we touched on in the previous question is that mm, you have to look at since O is in the center of an opaque e isosceles there is an isosceles triangle la paya ka o q p okay so there's an there's also an isosceles triangle la paya so make sure that you see that and you note that because somehow possibly you may use e isosceles here cosine law ellinga and okay so for me those are the three things i will say is the obvious up front but not only that i will add another thing uh which is that u t when we are being told that stp is equal to 90 degrees that this is 90 degrees it will imply okay what it will imply that this is also 90 degrees because vertical opposite angles but it will also imply again that it will imply t we exterior of the triangle so let me show the triangle in kumanga u p t s no s t p we exterior of this triangle okay so e exterior it is an angle outside so zoling an law 
plus log. Okay, so we can just note log. So when you're still learning E Euclidean geometry, it is very important to do it like this. Okay, so 90 is equal to which angle? O P Q number yeah. O P Q O P Q O P Q plus P Q O. Okay. P Q O P Q O because uh, this is very important. So those are the four things I'll say immediately for the Usheshu was we born and while we are calling the question. Okay, so obviously it's quite an easy to you can come up with, but these I think are very important. Alright, so now then you start your question and say if R is equal to 50 degrees, okay, this is 70, PQR, we've talked about that, find POQ. Now you're asking yourself where is POQ? Okay, try to find that angle. Okay, it's P. Say where is P? This is P, you go to O, this is O, and you go to Q. P O Q is this angle. Alright? So means Mangabuzala from the first statement, it's the same thing as saying P P O Q. P O Q is equal to 2R because Bashu O, so Bashu Guti P O Q is equal to 2R. So we can see Guti 2 times 100 times 50, which is R. So that's going to be 100. Alright? So this question has been solved by the first thing is in no till, which we already know from equation it. So P O Q is equal to, to R angle center two times angle circumference and then you get your answer eventually. so that's how you do the first question second question p s q p s q okay so they are talking about this angle ss versus school and i o p s q okay we already talked about o p s q from here okay sati p s q is half of a POQ. So meaning if I have that P O Q is equal to two P S Q. So we're plugging in hundred two P S Q divided by two both sides. Find that P S Q is equal to fifty degrees. Okay. So angle center is, is the reasoning but another Thing, this angle so you say that this angle will be equal to that angle because they are subtended by the same chord P Q the same thing able to solve the question but that's how we'll solve this question okay so we are using justice in this Berlin. But not only if unapalanga into uh pang, you always have to look into the question and try to find something. Okay, so you can see if you know your theorems, your normal properties of our shapes, this becomes very, very easy. Okay, so point number three, QPO. You want to find QPO, so Q P O. Alright. So, meaning you want to find this angle. Now, let's see, Uti, is there something we've written as my seven? Is Gimbona a parati way? Gimbona a parati way, I source less. Okay, Gimbona a parati way, I source less, Kanji. So, I think I can use the I source less triangle. Yeah. Okay, QPO. Let's see what we have written. So we now know go to parati we are isosceles, so let's add all the angles we are isosceles. So number three, we are going to say okay Q P O plus P O P 
O Q plus P plus P Q O is equal to 180 degrees. So what am I doing? I'm just adding all the angles inside Ela. So I'm adding all the angles here. Okay. And I already know that this is 100. So I'm saying QPO QPO ile angle length if unayo POQ POQ ile angle 100 uh, PQO PQO ile angle Okay. So I know that Q P O uzo lingana no P Q O. Why is that so? We know Uti. We have a radius which is O P lingana no O Q. K isosceles. So we know this. Meaning I can substitute back law. PQO QPO. Meaning, what am I going to have? I'm going to have two times much QPO. Why two times? Because more at talento now let's keep it out two. Because it's the same thing. Plus a hundred equals to one eighty. Two QPO is going to be one eighty minus hundred. Alright which is going to be 80 degrees and then when you divide it by 2 you will find you would see this is going to be 40 degrees qpo is equal to 40 degrees now you can see that in all the, of our answers we are using something we already observed tina which is point number three Okay, so that's how we solve for this one. Now let's go for this one. S P T. How would you solve S P T? Okay, let me try and remove. Isn't this unnecessary? Okay. S P T bakul mangale angle. So I'll just have to um S P T I'm gonna do it using two methods. So the first thing I'm thinking about is that S P T we subtend a E P angle because subtend a E P arc or chord. That is one of the most important things you should ask yourself. Subtend a E P. Subtend a L. Okay, here's an arc. Here's an arc. Okay, here arc. A marka. A arc O P. A wo naku. Kanch. So I go P. So then what does that mean again? Okay. It means you have to check of which other angle is being subtended by that same pylama point. Okay, you'll see um angle right. So, but then I the angle. I know this one. This is seventy, but I the So I shouldn't take that route. So what I'm going to do then to make things very simple, I'm going to add ama angles inside this small triangle. Okay, because that's what you need to do. Whenever you don't know what to do, you see ama theorems of seven. They'll just add angles inside the triangle. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to say SPT, SPT, because this is what we have. Okay, we have T, we have P, we have S. So I'm going to add angles inside and say SPT, which is what I want, PST, which is what I already have, plus PTS equal to 180. SPT plus PST. What is PST? Okay, UPST Ulingana Okay, PST. We've already calculated that OPST and we said that is going to be equal to um 
we said that this is going to be equal to 40 degrees, right? 50 degrees, yeah. All right, so what we're we calculating here, okay, um, yeah, so that's what we should be, PSQ, yeah, so PST and PSQ is the same thing, all right, so I used two methods, I mean, of writing, PST and PSQ is the same thing, we already calculated, because it's 50, so it's the same, same, same thing don't be confused so this is 50 degrees why why is it the same thing is because uq and t are on the same line so in, in naming it's just in naming there's nothing much so pst um yeah pst let me go back pst yes pst is going to be 50 degrees plus pts is 90 degrees equal to 180 so SPT is going to be 180 minus 50 minus 90, which is going to give you what? It should give you 40 degrees. Okay. It should give you 40 degrees. Okay. So that's how you can solve this question. All right, so that's how we solve this SPT thing. Okay, and then how do we find now the last one? TQP. TQP, how do you find a TQP? So you have T, you have Q, you have P. So now you are looking for this small guy. Okay, you're just looking for this small person. And if you know, okay, if you know this one, you can easily find this one by saying 70, the whole, minus this one to get this one. So, but that's not difficult. Okay, I'm going to erase this in this and get relevant here. Okay, I'm gonna try and erase in this so that I can sh show you what is left. Okay, so what is left from here? This is what is going to be left. Okay, so now I just want the blue line. I know this is 90, this is 50, so I can get this. This is going to be 40 degrees. Why? Because it's equal to that. Okay, it's equal to SPT. So this is 40. Now I can say 70 minus 40 to get this one, the small one. All right, let me show you again. So we have an Akanji, we have something we have an Akanji, we have an Akanji, and we have an Akanji. I know which the whole thing is 70 degrees. Okay, and I know this one is 40 degrees, so how do I find this one? This should be 30 degrees. So that's how you will solve for OTQP. Okay, that's how you solve for OTQP. But then if you always break these questions down, smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, by reading the statements, you can always try and solve. But then uh, you can double look and your practice, make sure you practice and do more and more and more questions so that you can understand this better.